Marianne. This kind of shooting may seem uh, quite actionless to, to some people but I've explained it before in other videos where you've seen me out doing this kind of shooting it really is just about patience it's a little bit like fishing and uh, you're just sitting around basically waiting but uh, the, the thing about it really is it's not it's not just about being bored. I mean, I've never been bored when I'm out doing this kind of thing. Because you're really just observing. And it's great. It's a great sort of um, form of training, really, for the mind. Just to really tune in to what's going on around you, listening to the, the sights and sounds that are happening. A lot of it may be the sound of um, livestock in the background, in my case, at the moment, because of where I am. But there are places that aren't quite like that. They're a bit more wild as you've probably seen from other videos that I've, uh, I've shown you. And it's a very fuel efficient way of hunting. If you're intending to hunt birds, like pigeons for example, you have to understand that their eyesight is incredible and it's very, very finely tuned to movement. So if you start going and stalking them, you'll probably find that they'll just fly away and they'll see you coming. So you have to be patient, you have to wait. In my case, I'm using a shotgun. I could use a smaller caliber shotgun. I have a 410 at home, but I do prefer using the 12. I find that for my skill level, it guarantees a cleaner kill. Uh, there probably are people out there that are very, very skilled with a 410. I'm okay with one, but uh, you know, I, I'm not gonna admit that I'm, I'm amazing with one because I'm not. So I prefer the 12 bore in my case because it, it, um, it gives me a cleaner kill. And I'm more confident with it, the swing, is better for me, the pattern's better, the range is better. The pattern on the 410 is it, after 20 yards with a, a two and a half inch cartridge is, is pretty sparse. And I'll put a video in the description below on a pattern test if anybody's interested in the actual science behind that. But uh, waiting around like this, it doesn't use much energy. I mean, I had a huge bowl of porridge um, for lunch and that's kind of sorted me out really for the day. I do carry a sort of a flapjack on me as well, 
sometimes a banana or an apple just to um, tie me over. But it's a pretty relaxing day. You just have to be very vigilant because you never know when the opportunity will present itself and it's generally the minute that you let it go, the minute that you just drop your guard, you put your gun down, everything starts moving and you just miss that opportunity you've been waiting hours for. So it can be quite fatiguing on the shoulders, you know, standing holding a gun like this, but you get used to all that and you forget about the, the ache and you just start focusing in on what's going on around you. And an opportunity like that just presents itself. So that just glided over and uh, that was a good clean hit. It was soaring over, it didn't see me, I'm in the shadow, nice contrast from the sunlight. But there we go, there's another wood pigeon that makes four for the day. So I'll get that in the bag. Here comes another. Another one's just landed over there. See this is the time of day where things start getting really active.